Good day, I'm Mr. Marimira uh, from Group 3 and we'll be presenting on uh, UDP flooding or UDP flood attacks. A UDP flood attack is a form of uh, denial of service attack in which large types of user datagram protocol or UDP packets are sent to a targeted server with the aim of overwhelming the server or that device's ability to respond and process. So, um, the file will become strained or overwhelmed with the, uh, the, the, the number, the large number of, uh, of packets that are sent to it and it will then deny legitimate traffic or normal traffic uh, causing a denial of service attack. Um, a UDP flood attack usually works in uh, two steps. Normally when a server receives a UDP packet at a particular port, uh, it goes through two steps uh, in response. The first step uh, or the first stage the server checks to see if any programs are running which are presently listening for a request at the specified port. Then secondly, if no programs are receiving packets at that particular port, the server responds with an ICMP ping or an internet uh, control message protocol ping that uh, uh, to inform the sender that the destination was unreachable. So each UDP packet, uh, as it is received, it goes through step one and step and step two. So uh, because of the number of um, of UDP packets that will be sent through to the server, it then overwhelms the server and the server's ability to process and respond is uh, is impaired leading to a denial of service usually when uh, udp packets are transmitted each packet will include uh, a, an ip address of the source of um source of the device or uh the source of the of the sender but during this type of an attack the attacker will try by all means to to hide their ip address uh, so that by this mechanism of hide, hiding their ip address they safeguard themselves from receiving uh, a large amount of, of feedback from the server itself which will cause a, a similar effect to their device uh, it's the same that they're trying to cause on the on the server so they spoof their IP address and spoofing an I, their IP address is not really a mammoth task because a UDP protocol is connectionless and does not have any type of handshake mechanism or session. And when uh, a server is receiving uh, a number of um, a number of packets, or it's it's being attacked from not one machine but quite a number of machines it's called a distributed uh, denial of service attack and usually when we're in a distributed denial of service attack the multiple machines that are used to to, to launch the udp flood will will increase the volume of traffic significantly uh, that it exceeds the link the capacity of the links uh, connecting the target to the internet resulting in a it, res, it will result then in a 
bottleneck. So, uh, in in a nutshell, that's a UDP flood attack. Thank you.